People ask why I'm so passionate about Honda. It all started 30 years ago when my mom trusted this exact 1987 Honda Accord to safely transport our family. Trust takes many years to earn. And through Bianchi Honda, I'm sharing my passion for Hondas with our community. Bianchi Honda trusted from the very beginning. And still on the road today. Welcome back. Time now for the Gannon Lady Knights Coaches Show. He is Jim Bernelli, the head coach. And coach, you've taken on two really good teams the past two times out, IUP and then Cal. Um, let's get into what, what went down, I guess. Yeah, no, two, two very well uh, coached teams. Uh, totally respect their programs. Um, coaches are amazing. Players are amazing. They do, a, they do a terrific job with them and take their hat off, hat off to them in every single way. Um, you know, we shot the ball extremely well to start, at least IUP, let's go back to IUP, first half, uh, first two quarters, shot the ball very well, just turned it over too many times. You can't give, you know, the number two team in the country um, more opportunities to score. And, um, you know, I guess you can sum it up with both games are, um, can't have 27 to 28 turnovers, you know, and expect to win games. Um, you know, we're hanging, we're hanging around. Um, you know, at the half at IUP we had 17. At the half at Cal we had 16, um, and we're shooting the ball well. That's what keeps us down. You know, we we're down nine, and and we gave them, you know, eight, seven, eight, six, seven or eight more opportunities uh, for them to score, and, and they took advantage on it. And that's what it is right now. We're trying to trying to figure that out, and, and uh, hopefully we figure out sooner than later. There was a game, I think it was Mansfield, that the ratio was really good, assist to turnover. Well, if you look right? earlier, earlier we played Shippensburg, uh, you know, and we had, I think it was 25, 26 assists to 11 turnovers. Um, and then the next day, it was flip-flop. We had 25 assists to 11. Is I it, mean, 25 turnovers to 11 assists. Is so. there a trend in what defense is being thrown at you when there's that difference, or is it is it you? Is it on your side of the court? I think it's mostly us. I think it's mostly us getting a little panicked, getting a little nervous with the ball, um, trying to trying to make a uh, a spectacular pass instead of making the basic. You know, um, so we try to tell our kids, you know, hey, just make the basic fundamental pass. You don't have to try to, you know, split two or three defenders or, you know, thread the needle type deal. Just do the basic pass and the fundamental type thing. And, and you know, there's some times where, um, you know, defense on, on on this past Saturday, you know, Cal's a very good, probably one of the better defensive teams we've played all year. And, you know, they're going to put a lot of pressure on you. And there were some turnovers that was caused because of that, but we should be able to handle that pressure. We should be able to handle a little bit. And, um, at times you saw we did, you know, we cut the cut the lead to four and different things like that, and we weren't turning the ball over. We were hitting shots, we were hitting the open man, uh, we were giving up good for great, um, making the extra pass and doing those little things. And that's something that we have to be consistent at doing each time we step on the court. Uh, you've got uh, several players that they'll just something will click and it'll be like. This is the best game. Sydney Mitchell, that might have been the best game she's played against Cal. Now, I know there, there as a coach, you're going to look at certain aspects of it and go, yeah, but we're going to fix this, that, and the other. Right. But, I mean, as the results go, the stat line, <coughs> she hasn't played better. And that's a young player. She's only going to get better. No, no, you're, no we're, you know, we were waiting for that. Sydney Mitchell um, can flat out shoot the ball. She, she, she's a knockdown shooter. She has a great um, sense of, of basketball. Basketball IQ is there. Um, she's a really good pastor, passer a lot of the times. Um, you saw that she had seven turnovers. She had eight assists. Um, she knows she can play the game. And, and two, of those, two, of the, two of the seven turnovers were charges, which we had a lot of charges that we dealt out because they have great help side defense. We did not adjust to that. And that's something we have to do better. They knew about it. We just didn't adjust to it. Um, and, then, and then she had two... What I, what her and I talked about, it. she had two crazy passes. She got a little panicked and threw it immediately right into the other team's hands. So that's four turnovers. So now you go, you take those away, and now it's eight assists, three turnovers. It's not a bad day at the office, right? You know the way she shot the ball. I think she was four seven from the three point line. That's the, what we see a lot in practice of her knocking down shots. Um, and you're right, uh, against a very good team, you got to have players that step up, and she was one of them. She does. She makes some. She makes some nifty passes. She does. So you got to try them, but you are you saying no? Don't try them. Well, I, I think 
it depends on who you're throwing it to. And, you know, her and I have talked quite a bit. And, and there's some passes she makes into the post that she really, she really, she, you can't make a ton of no-look passes into the post. I think, I think you've got to let the post know, hey, we're coming to you. We have really good post players when we get them the ball. When we don't, you know, when we throw it in the vicinity of a post player, I don't think that's what we need to do. Um, our bigs work to get position. We got to get them the ball where we need it, not four or five feet away from it. So you're fine with her staring into Nikola Kava's soul, just. Yeah, you know, and then make a move, fake the make. You know, we, we preach that all the time. Make a move to get the ball inside. And I'm not saying that, you know, there's a time and place for the no-look pass, and she does it extremely well. Um, but I just I just rather have that fundamental pass. and, and Master she can make, that. Yeah, 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 just get that down. Because there's going to be times where she's dribbling across the lane and throw one in. Um, but, you know, a lot of our turnovers have been trying to make you know, a spectacular play, and I don't think we always necessarily need that. I mentioned Nikola Kava. It is kind of, you get it down there. When she's having a day, you get it in there to the low block, she's putting yeah. it in. I mean, yeah, he's, she's putting it in, or like the other day, if she got fouled, she went 6-6 six six from the free throw. You'll take that, yeah. You know, I love those possessions. I'm a selfish type person when it comes to basketball. I don't want empty possessions. I don't want you to throw the ball in, and we get nothing out of it. We miss a shot. I want and ones. Because it's it's points for us and it, it puts them in the in the penalty. You know what I mean. So I want those. And the way Nicole was playing the other other day, um, you know, if she didn't score when she had it, she was drawing a foul. And those are great for us because she was going to the line. I think, like I said, she was six for six. We had some other kids go. There. I think Lauren 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 Tavis was four for four from the free throw line. So we were doing some good things from the free throw. And we just got to get to it better. We have a we have a better free throw shooting team than our stats show. Uh, but you only go by what the stats are. We got to elevate that number. Chelsea Rourke, it's you pick a day, and, and there's a different statistic that she's going to stuff. And she, it, sometimes she hits all of them. Yeah. Is she still improving as a player at this juncture of her career here? Oh, most definitely, most definitely. I think I think every one of our kids are, are going to continue to improve each time. Um, I, I think some of the things with with Chelsea are going to be along the lines of um, the 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 strategy type part of the game. You know what I mean? It's, it's, she's just a super athlete. Uh, she can do, she can score at every level. She can drive, she can stop and pop the mid range, she can hit the three. Uh, but you're right, she's a stat stuffer. She'll go out, get you some blocks, she'll get you some steals. Um, she'll get you some rebounds because she's long and lanky and she goes after them. But I think, I think where her bigger, big development is that I continue to see is just her, her ability to, to, to make plays within the game. You know what I mean? She, when she's on, she slows it down, it seems, for the other yeah. players on the court. Yeah. You can yeah. see it. It's, and, and, you know, there's some times where she makes that extra pass that just sets it sets it up. Right. And there's some times where I'm telling her, no, you need to shoot, shoot that. It, sure. But, you know, when she's feeling it. But she's a team player, and, and we have to continue to do that. But she's she's a kid that, that gives you what you need on both ends of the court. You know, she, she can play the defense um, that we want her to play on certain players. And, and then... You know, as a team defender, it's always nice to have somebody in your back pocket that if somebody gets beat, somebody's going to come over and make a stop, make a block, that type of thing, get a steal. So uh, she's going to continue to improve. Good stuff. Uh, <laughs> let's check in. There it is. It had to happen. Yeah. yeah. Tis the season. Oh, my God. Uh, um, how about the freshman on your team? I know that uh, you've had Boston McKinney. She's been out. Yeah. But it looks like she's progressing nicely. Yeah, hopefully we'll see. Um, she did a little bit today. We'll see if she, she goes tomorrow, and, and hopefully we'll get her back soon. Um, she's got to be comfortable and, and ready to go. Um, but, no, um, she's definitely missing from the lineup. Um, this is the first week we didn't get uh, Rookie of the Week. Ah, oh, it had to. Yeah, all good things must hey, come to yeah, an end. Good That's things remarkable, come. Coach. Yeah, you know, hey, we, we have some talented freshmen, as everybody says, and, and – and uh, but Tori Openrader, she's she's tough. She's absolutely tough. Um, you know, she comes in. She's she's one of those kids that can um, stuff the stats. You know, grabbing rebounds, scoring points, um, getting a block here and there. Uh, but I just like her. She's tough. She's strong. Uh, when she rips a rebound, man, you know it. Uh, you know, and Ivana Chamasi, um, Ivy, she's going to come in, and I think her best basketball is ahead of her. Uh, I really do. I think I think she's getting used to the game and getting used to what we're doing, and I think she's only going to shine. Um, we just got, you know, and, and some, part of the problems with us, we're just 
we're, we're, we're putting her in some different positions and whether she's not ready for them or not she just has to go and play and, and so you know we understand that there's going to be some turnovers and in her department just because she's she's getting reps at the one two and the three spot and there's not many of our kids that play all those positions especially as a freshman the, so kind of throwing her in the fire a little bit almost the the counterpart I mean, this is a stretch but as a forward combo is Haley Tavis. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to classify her as. A three, four, five. Yeah, yeah. She falls. She falls. She'll play a little bit of everything for us. Um, you know, she'll she'll get up and down the floor, and there'll be there'll be games where she's she's offensively she's the three, but she's defending a four, and then vice versa. Um, she's one of those kids. It's it's nice to have because she has good size and length. Um, you know, stat wise, she's struggling a little bit, but but she's working she's working on her game and 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 continue to try to get better and that's what we want you know um, she's a kid that can come in and get you some some quick points um, and and now now we want her to be able to do both you know want to come in get some points and then get some stops on the defensive end geez I forget you have as many freshmen on the team as you do yeah um, Roche Benjamin got some minutes against IUP. Brianna right. Ransom can knock down a three. Yeah, yeah. So no. you're still finding out that you got more. more. Right. This is why I say when you sat down, I said I can't figure your team out because if I called them a rebuilding team, I think that would be, it would be accurate in the sense that you went out and you recruited a pretty full, pretty complete class. You know what I mean? Right. But then it's not that they can't <coughs> accomplish something this year. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. No. No. Totally. Totally agree with you. There. There's some kids that. Um, that are going to get some more minutes and some more opportunities to uh, to prove themselves, and uh, it may be, you know, sparingly to start, um, but that's, you know, in order to get in the game, you got to earn our, you not earn, you got to work on getting our confidence. You know, I always say you got to be able to do it in practice before you do it on the on, 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 in a game, and I think those kids are starting to come around and do that. So we're going to give them those opportunities to try to make the best of it. I guess now it's only right we give a shout out. Sam Perosco's out there as well. She, I think, do we see her? She was at the game, but she had surgery on her ankle, mm -hmm. right. um, and so she's healing right now. Um, but she was a kid that was coming around too. She's going to be something special for us um, in the future. Delaney Dogan, you what? Yeah, Delaney <laughs> hasn't played yet. She's 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 getting closer and closer to game action. She's been practicing well the last couple. Um, this last week, actually, last week and, and, and today, and uh, we're hoping to get her back in. But she's another kid who's a, who had a tremendous high school career um, and just unfortunate that at the end of her senior year she got injured and, and we're taking care of it. It's, we're, we're, we're on the back end of it now, but it, it, was a tough, it was a tough injury as far as a you know, Liz Frank fracture and, and the rehab that goes into it. But she's got a great mindset. The young lady just in practice, she has a tremendous basketball. And we knew this, you know, recruiting her, but she just has a tremendous basketball IQ. And then Iowa Rivas, I wonder what type of player she was in high school. She a scorer? Uh, yeah, yeah, a little bit over over in Spain, you know, the game's played a little bit differently and, and uh, but she has that ability. She's struggling right now as far as the scoring, but it's there. It's there. She's just gotta get that confidence up and knock down some shots and it's all gonna come back to her. Good stuff. Wednesday it's Pitt Johnstown, five yeah. thirty PM at the Hammer Mill Center. They're kind of on a steady climb it seems. Both yeah. the programs. No, they're 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 a nice program. Um, you know they have some really good players, and they have they have two two of their players right now are in the top ten in scoring in the league. Um, you know, averaging twenty, I think it's like twenty one and twenty points per game. Um, and and so we really got up. There, there's no easy nights. There's no easy nights in this in this league. At BSAC, I've said it a, a million times before. They're one of the toughest conferences in the country, if not the toughest, um, just because there's there's no gimmies. And not that we would want any. Um, but you know we got to come out and play. We got to come out and do the do do the things the right way. You know, take care of the ball, value every possession, play team basketball, share the ball, um, and get stops on the defensive end. Last thing I want to mention. I don't know where you and the staff finds the time to recruit in the middle of a season. I truly do not. With everything else you got going on, I, I just don't know. But. You did a, apparently did a job of it because you brought in a local phenom who she was a highlight reel the other night with yeah, the, the, yeah, the finish, Benham. Allie Benham. Yeah, no, um, our staff does a great job. We, 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 we try not to we probably go against what we what most coaches do. We, we try not to get out during the season. If we're trying to win games, we can't have our coaches missing. Uh, I want them there every practice. I want them there every game. 
Um, so we do a lot of our recruiting in the summer months. Uh, we're out at a lot of the AAU tournaments where we're seeing them play against super tough competition. Um, but Allie's a special player, um, and, and it showed the other night, I think it was Saturday night. Um, or, yeah, they played at the same time we did. Um, and, you know, she hit a left-handed shot, a pointer <laughs> at the buzzer to win the game. But uh, I've gone out to see her play this year and, and just really, really looking forward to her. I went out to see our other kid that we signed, Margaret Lutzenheiser. And, um, right, she's a D10 yeah, too, right? she's out of Warren. And uh, just really excited about those guys, too. I think they're going to bring um, some things to the table, and that's a year away, but uh, excited about that. But our take my hat off to Coach Jen and Coach Harvey. They do a great job of, of um, you know, identifying the, the talent and then uh, just with a, when bring kids in for visits, showing them around and showing them what we do here at Gannon. So we're excited about it. Coach Bernalli, 2019 is here. Yeah. Two and five in the PSAC, so you got a lot of time to make up ground. Yeah, I told the team today, you know, hey, there's a lot of games left. There's a lot of ball games left, and, and we got to be focused. We got to be locked in, and we got to be ready to go. Appreciate it, Coach. Good luck on Wednesday.